Paro que quiero yo no me llevo Mami no me olvido we focus on what we can see in the physical not knowing that what you're seeing was cooked and completed in the spiritual realm. And so you need to shift your battle from the physical realm and move into the spiritual realm where the real battle is. Listen to me. I don't know if I'm allowed to come down here. Listen to me. If things are cooked on the spirit realm here and then they manifest on the physical realm here, are you with me? Are you with me? It means because the devil knows you have no understanding of how things operate in the spirit, he will cook battle one here. And then it manifests in the physical. You fight it physically. He knows you will not win. As you continue to fight endlessly, he cooks battle too. And then it manifests in the physical. You have battle one, battle two. You're still fighting in the physical. He's cooking battle three. And he knows you'll never win it. The solution is you move from this realm here. Shift your battle to the spiritual realm here. Shut him down before he manifests in the physical. And Paul says, for our battle is not against flesh and blood, but against what? Principalities. When you keep fighting the wrong way. You're the one with the biggest mouth. Where are you coming from right now? A woman is not allowed to ask a man that question. That question is only asked by the man. Yeah. You don't ask it. You don't. How do you ask your husband where are you coming from right now? But the man can ask it. That's a discussion in our 0 to 10 age years. We will handle it then. I don't want to preempt. You don't ask a man where are you coming from. That one you ask your brother or your child, not your husband. Where do you got, have get guts to stand and say, Ini sangapi unakuja? Uta nifanya kama mutu wa Many watchmen wa kukufungulia kila wakati unakuja. How do you talk to a man like that? Where do you get the streets? Mm. The Bible says it is better to live at the rooftop mm. of the house than to live with a nagging, fault finding, disagreeing wife, a contentious woman. Mm. I want to let every woman listen to this. This hormone God has put in the testes of men, you know, Makende. Mm. Uh -huh. And in those uh, testes that God has put in the testes of, and one of the testes is big, another one is small. Mm. And they should be like that. Okay. Yeah. As it as it Moja ni kubwa na moja ni ndogo just like the breast of a woman they are also not equal I think I was just about to yeah, the breast of this podcast you see hii ndio makende yetu makende yao okay so there is a hormone that God put in a man and it is called the testosterone mm. the testosterone testes the testosterone it comes from the testes yeah. this testosterone does not like noise does not like a conflict mm. the minute you as the wife and the husband you have a conflict especially a conflict that has been that has begun with the wife mm. it gets so scared and it diminishes mm. that's why anytime there is quarreling you have a you had a debated you know toxic argument, argument. yes you are not able to have sex because it gets scared that's very true. and mm, real husbands real men 
You need to shift your battle from the physical realm and move into the spiritual realm where the real battle is. Listen to me. I don't know if I'm allowed to come down here. Listen to me. If things are cooked on the spirit realm here and then they manifest on the physical realm here, are you with me? Are you with me? It means because the devil knows you have no understanding of how things operate in the spirit, he will cook battle one here. And then it manifests in the physical. You fight it physically. He knows you will not win. As you continue to fight endlessly, he cooks battle two. And then it manifests in the physical. You have battle one, battle two. You're still fighting in the physical. He's cooking battle three. The solution is you move from this realm here. Shift your battle to the spiritual realm here. Shut him down before he manifests in the physical. Paul says, for our battle is not against flesh and blood, but against what? You keep fighting the wrong way. You're the one with the biggest mouth. Where are you coming from right now? 